Hello everyone and welcome back to Untold Tales. And we are here with Stormfur, who for was formerly known as Stormclaw, but actually who changed her name. And let's actually head out this way and uh, talk to these guys. Yes, so there is a cat smeared with dyes that went this way. I think we're actually, we may change her fur. I think we can change it back right away if we don't like it. So let's talk to Skystar real fast. We can visit the bonus shop, and then we'll unlock this blue tabby, and we'll leave again, and then we'll go this way. And I want to see if we can change her fur to that, at least temporarily, possibly. I want to see how it looks, because I feel like she might try and, like, perhaps smear some, some berry juice or something in her fur to dye it a little bit. And uh, just to kind of change her appearance a little too, because she is quite afraid of River Clan and what they might do to her. Okay, that wasn't River Clan, but that could be, so we need to get out of there. All right, where's Four Trees again? Um, it's up, isn't it? Yes, it's up. And no, it's not, but there is a shiny thing here. Let's grab that quickly. Cross the road fast. And why can't I find Four Trees? Is it, it's not up and this way? There it is, yes, Panda Spirit. All right, let's talk to Panda Spirit and just see. Oh, hi, hi, I haven't had a customer in a while. Pardon the mess, I'm just super excited that you're here and might want to try some, out something. I've been experimenting with dyeing pelts lately and it's been going pretty good, but I need practice. Can I dye your pelt for you? I can change it to any pelt color that you've unlocked so far. Pretty, pretty, please. Uh, let's try it and just see. So left or right arrows to change pelt. I think we want to change her to this one. So I think we want, we'll go from her being just completely dark to we'll change it to this. We'll change her fur to this and press enter for now. I kind of like that. It'll probably wear off eventually and we'll probably have to keep coming back to Panda Spirit, I think. Well, I mean, not in game, but in, uh, in story purposes. But I think she would change it for now. And uh, just kind of maybe try to hide how she looks. Now, I think the Panda Spirit and Coco show up from time to time. And um, are not always... They're not always there, but they're there sometimes. And so when they are there, we'll have to make sure and catch them. Because eventually she probably... I, I don't know, though. Maybe she will keep her name as Stormfur. Maybe she would keep this look. But we'll see. For now, she's trying to move away from the warrior life she had as Stormclaw. And what did we need to get for Shine Fur again? We had something, right? Uh, feathers! Okay, we'll go out probably and get feathers. Yeah, because we're not, um, as of right now, let's, uh, buy some food. We're, we don't really need to sleep, but I think she definitely would want to, uh, kind of distance herself from her old life. And, uh, changing her name and changing her fur is part of that. So, ooh, we don't want to go up towards that road. It's really busy right now, even late at night. And she has sort of been, uh, Oh, that's no good. She has sort of been trying to, um, talk to some of the other cats in camp, but, like, I think she's doing that more now that she's not uh, a warrior anymore. Let's, let's carry this Feverfew around. Feverfew, I think, will be our healing plant, because I don't think there are any quests that actually ask for it, at least not from our clan. We do have to look around for those feathers, though. There's more Feverfew. And we should get a drink at some point, too, if we can. Um, there's more fever few. I feel like she would keep some fever few. Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We can't run away from this. And there's a veteran. This is exactly why we. I think she would keep some on her. Because, oh man, unless they chase him off. Uh-oh. No, they didn't. We may have to fight him. We're not allowed to run because it is River Clan. Oh no, we're gonna have to fight him, aren't we? Oh man. Oh, we got him. Okay, I think she would book it out of here and be very, very afraid from that. And she needs to get some water anyway. But I think she'd be very scared to have run into River Clan there and would kind of just run away. She's changed her name, she's changed her fur, so hopefully they won't recognize her. But even so, I don't think she'd be want to be anywhere near them because she accidentally did kill a cat from River Clan. It wasn't on purpose, but nevertheless, it happened. And it has left her pretty scared. 
So we're gonna go and uh, head back to camp quickly. I think she'd probably go sleep after that. No, let's use our skill to sprint. Can we make it? Can we make it? Can we make it? I think we just missed it. No, we just missed it by a matter of minutes. <laughs> I was hoping we could sleep. Um, although not like we really need to anyway. Uh, let's hang on to this shiny thing. We didn't actually find any feathers, so we'll go back there in a little bit. What herbs did we need? It was goldenrod. Okay, so we can give her some of this goldenrod that we found. Let's, uh, give her a piece. And horsetail. Let's go get this horsetail that we leave here. And you guys pointed out that we don't have to bury stuff in the camp, so we haven't been anymore. Horsetail and horsetail again. So I'm actually going to leave this golden rod here because generally we don't want to use that to heal ourselves. And we'll head back up to Shadow Clan territory and then out to Wind Clan territory and see what we can find. And a hello, Grey Claw. Uh oh, Dusk Paw. Oh boy. Oh boy. Lots of Shadow Clan warriors there. I think she would kind of just wander around through the territory looking for Horse Tail, which we just found some. She doesn't want to fight at all. She'll, at this point in time, I think she'd really only fight if she was cornered and had no other choice. Uh, unless it's River Clan, of course, then she has no choice and she has to fight. Uh, but yeah, at this point, she definitely spends more time running than fighting. Um, she's honestly become more of a skittish cat, and I think it would take a lot to kind of help her heal from that, to help her learn to trust herself again. Because uh, right now she feels like she's a danger and she's scared to fight because of what she might be capable of. So, whoa, let us head back. And, oh my gosh, <gasps> get off the road, get off the road. Okay, everybody's off the road. Even the Shadow Clan cats I worry about. Because uh, I feel like at this point in time, Stormfur would take very personal responsibility for anything that happened. Even if another cat got hit, if they were fighting her, I feel like she would be very responsible for that. Uh, we don't have any- oh, we, we decline all quests for Comfrey because it's, um, okay, Goldenrod. We always decline, um, requests for Comfrey because it's from River Clan. so no, we're not gonna take that quest. Horsetail we can give, though. And yes, we can give Horsetail, and then we need more Horsetail. So let's head back over here, and, uh, I think I'm gonna grab an apple. I try- I'm trying to give the males the same gift just to kind of see what happens. And I think we have another apple over here. That sprint skill doesn't recharge very fast, does it? There's more goldenrod, which is good. And then here we can grab this other apple. So I think today we'll give them some apples. They did seem to like the shiny things. And I think Stormfur may find some solace in that. Uh, and possibly if she takes a mate and has a kit, that might change her outlook on things a little bit. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what she decides here. A lot of, whoa, we're losing health because of thirst. I did not even realize that. Oops, that's not good. Let's make sure we get a drink and get that thirst down. Thankfully, it doesn't go down super fast like it did in um, our Ultimate Fox Simulator that once, but it still does go down, and that is not a good thing because if she gets into any sort of battle where she does take damage, even if she's trying to run away, that uh, would not be a good thing. So let's look at Spot Whisker. And let's give an apple. Oh, is this for me? All right. And then I think she would give one to Birch Fur as well. And uh, she, I think, will give... Oh, thanks. All right. Let's talk to Trainer Maple Stripe. She does have 24. She doesn't have enough to upgrade her claws. And she doesn't have enough to upgrade Intimidating Glare either. Those skills are the ones she's mostly going to upgrade, I think, because she needs to be able to defend herself. So if she does fall under attack, she wants to be able to escape. I mean, of course, she's not going to die just because she refuses to fight back. But she's certainly not going to get uh, to go out of her way to pick a fight. And let's come here. And uh, let's see. I think at some point, too, she may consider being a mentor. But I feel like being a mentor would involve teaching uh, an apprentice to fight. Oh, that's River Clan territory. We do need to go out this way, though, and uh, try and find feathers. Let's get away from there, because that can be a River Clan fighting spot. But I think she would need to feel more confident with fighting again, or at least be willing to fight, even if she still avoids it in order to be able to take an apprentice. I just feel like she wouldn't really want to 
at this point because she would feel like she'd have to uh, teach the apprentice to fight. Oh no, no, that's not good. Uh, she wanted to, kept wanting to head straight towards the road because the key got stuck. Uh oh, who is that? Um, whoa, that's Shadow Clan and Wind Clan. Okay, we don't have to fight them. So let's keep looking for feathers and kind of make our way north. So there is the edge of the world here. And then, what is this that press control near the sign of travel to the mother mouth? So we actually can travel here and then go in this cave. There's a cave in this one as well. What is this? The Moonstone Star Clan rewards you with fresh kill. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a lot of prey. Wow. So I guess we can come talk to Star Clan from time to time. All right. Let's not... Uh, Let's not cross the road until we're far enough away because we definitely don't want to get hit. Oh, oh. <gasps> oh my goodness. I think Stormfur would just kind of run as fast as she could away from there. Oh man. She's just been plagued by misfortunes and I think she would feel like somehow that was her fault. She'd tend to blame herself for that. Uh, I think at at this point she's becoming a more and more skittish cat and more and more unstable. I think she would hurry back with this dead rabbit. Did the, have these guys seen anything today? No unusual activity. Oh my goodness. I think she would head back quickly and drop these for reputation. And then bring... We didn't even get the horse tail we needed Oh man, you guys, I think we will purchase another bonus coin, maybe two. Let's buy two, I think. That'll bring us down to 36. And then let's drop the golden rod here. She just saw a cat got, get hit on the road and... Oh man, Stormfur. <gasps> oh, I think she would want to stay as far from the road as possible. Boulder pool, oh my goodness, that was almost one of our cats too. That was one of our cats, and he almost got hit. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't believe that happened. I feel like she does, in a way, feel responsible, even though... Oh no, no, we're not gonna fight you. We just want... We just want some of these herbs. We just need some of these herbs, because uh, we have to help our clan. But I feel like even though she can know, she's... Like, you know, it's one of those things where, logically... Yeah, she knows she's not responsible, but it still feels like her fault because weren't they chasing her? And if she hadn't been up there, maybe it wouldn't have happened. I think she still has taken on responsibility for it in a way and become a very paranoid cat, honestly. A uh, very skittish and paranoid cat. We need more, uh, to, we need to refill our hunger and thirst as well. So let's come over here. And, uh, we can talk to Snowheart, because we needed to give her horse tail, right? And Goldenrod. We have a Goldenrod and Goldenrod again, so let's gather some of these. And we'll give that. And we're not going to take that quest. And Goldenrod. And horse tail. There we go. And Comfrey. I don't think she would take that quest. It would be interesting if refusing a quest actually uh, took away reputation. Alright, let's give her that. And no comfrey. And horsetail, yes. Oop, that's fever few. And there we go. And then what's the next one? Goldenrod, okay. And it's almost leaf bear, I think. I believe. I think we might be on one of the last days here. Let's make sure we get a drink. We'll get some food, and then we'll go sleep through the night, I think, and uh, head out for one more day. And that should, um, that should replenish our health as well. That'll be a good thing. Let's come here. And we can't sleep yet? Oh, it has to be nine, right? Nine. Alright, so there's Preyheart. He ha is responsible for the battle quests. And then let's talk to the females and just see. Oh, hi. Do they ever say anything different? Hi. I don't think so. I think the only time they say something different is if you had a male cat, because uh, then you could take them as a mate. Alright. 
So we're a little hungry, a little thirsty, but not too bad. And let's head out, look for that goldenrod, and look for those feathers. So it's not quite leaf bare. Earlier today, cat smeared and dies is walking near four trees. She had a couple of vials and bowls with her, so it looks like a panda spirit is back. Is panda spirit actually back? I, I probably. Um, but yeah, let's grab this apple because we've been giving those as gifts to the males. And uh, let's see. Oh, let's get out of here. Yeah, panda spirit is here. Okay. And uh, let's see, are there any feathers around here? There is feverfew, but we're not going to grab it right now. Are there, there's more feverfew. There's feathers. We're not going to, we'll carry three feverfew on us at all times, I think. But we probably won't carry much more than that. Wait, were there feathers down there? No, there weren't. It was just flowers. And there's feathers here, though. There we are. And Wind Clan territory is very open and empty. I want to see if we can get a third feather. There's a third feather, okay. They're fairly rare, but um, we're gonna head this way and head back to camp and give some of these to the kits. So we'll have to see too if we, I hope we'll find another apple because that would be nice to give to some of the males, if we can give them both. I feel like at this point, whoa, 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 she's not like consciously um, thinking about romance, but she does like to, uh, she does consider them her friends and uh, is kind of wanting to perhaps, uh, you know, she wants to give them a gift. There we go. I don't know what my computer's doing. <laughs> Computer likes to switch windows randomly on me sometimes and uh, that's a little bit of a pain. So let's go this way and give some of these feathers to, um, to shine fur and then more bird feathers and a smooth rock, which we actually don't have any. Ooh, and that would require her to go down to river clan territory again. So I think she would hesitantly accept that because it doesn't require her to go in as deep into the territory as getting comfrey but I think she'd be very, very cautious. So we'll head back out. We'll see if we can actually find any, um, any smooth rocks. So we'll have to see. I think, is there a place? Oh, there's one right here. I feel like she would gather them quickly and then get out because we have been attacked by a river clan here before. And if we are attacked by river clan, we can't leave. We have to stay and fight. And that could be pretty disastrous. Is there any place down here? There's not really any place down here. I'm gonna grab another rock real fast. I was hoping there might be somewhere we could gather that would be a little bit safer, but not really. All right, so we'll gather this goldenrod and then there is another apple. So let's quickly bring this goldenrod over here and we'll bring the stone as well and then we'll go get that apple and then we'll gift it to the males again and uh, let me know what you think about possible budding romances even if that's not what she uh, originally intended do you think anything could be uh, could be happening there with them what, what do you think about all that hmm? all right let's bring these bird feathers here we go and then a smooth rock and then we more bird feathers, so we can't actually do that here. Let's drop this up here, and then we'll go get that apple. We'll give it. To, we'll give the apples to the males, and just see what happens. And then I think we'll probably wrap up the episode for the day. So let's see. Oh, we have more golden rod. That's always good. We should see what our next medicine cat apprentice or apprentice assistant is as well. Uh, our next quest for that. And let's head back this way. Here we go. All right, and we'll grab the other one, but first I wanna see a uh, goldenrod. We actually have that, that's fear few. And another goldenrod, okay. And then let's grab this other apple. And we'll give these to the, the males here. So spot whisker. Uh, let's give them an item. Oh, is this for me? And we'll give birch for an item as well. Birch for looks a lot like we used to. I'm sorry, but do you need something? Let's give an item. Oh, thanks. 
All right, there we go. So I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here for today. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out. Don't forget to subscribe.